friends, Miss Natalie here, and today I am going to show you how to use the rectangle tool, the ellipse tool, and the polygon tool in Krita or Krita. I like to say Krita. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I am in a vector layer. Um, which I am right now, Vector Layer 2. If you don't have a vector layer, you can just remember, go to that little menu and choose a new vector layer. Um, then I am going to make sure that I have a brush that I like. I like the basic. Um, let's see, we are size 15. That sounds like a pretty good size for making some shapes. And um, why am I in a vector layer? Well, I am in a vector layer so that I can adjust my shapes um, after I lay them down um, in a way that will not make them fuzzy or pixelated like would happen if I was in a, uh, a paint layer or a raster layer. Remember, in a vector layer, uh, the lines, they, they can be re resized without losing any uh, uh, I guess clarity that would be a word so uh, you just saw me use that good old-fashioned rectangle tool and it's you can make squares and rectangles that's what you do with it you make a square you make a rectangle you can make any size you want and as I said in a vector layer I can click on this select shapes tool and that will allow me to select and resize and no matter whether I stretch it this way or that way the lines are still the same thickness whereas in a paint layer the lines would not be the same thickness if I was stretching it um, yeah and then I can pick it up and I can move it around which is good because it's it's I think it's sometimes difficult to figure out oops, why did I end up uh, to figure out exactly where your shape is going to be? Now, the thing with a rectangle is you do start with the upper left corner. So wherever you start, you do know that's the upper left corner. Other shapes are maybe a little less easy to figure out. All right. So that's something that you can explore on your own, making different rectangles using the select shape tool to move them and to resize them. The next tool is the ellipse tool, and it allows you to make circles and, and ovals. And with this tool, you kind of start on the on the edge, the right edge of the circle, it's hard to figure out. This is where it's really easier to make your circle and then move it than to try to place it or draw it exactly where you want it the first time. And again, because we're in a vector layer, we can resize and the line, the outline is always going to be the same, which is pretty cool. There we go. All right, but I don't really need these for now. Um, I could keep one. We'll keep one just there for fun. The final tool I'm going to show you is the polygon tool. And this allows you basically to draw any other shape besides an oval, circle, rectangle, or square. So you can um, you can say make a diamond. And when you get back to your first, where you first started, it makes the shape for you. So you click to start, and then you click, click, click. So if I want to make a triangle, that's how I would do it. If I wanted to make a random shape, I could do that. Um, and if I wanted to make, uh, if I wanted to make an octagon, I could probably do it. I would recommend. Um, having a view of the grid and then you could literally like make a very complicated shape by following grid lines um, 
if you wanted to and make it much more regular if you paid attention to those. So that's that's a little little hint on um, if you are doing more complex shapes with the polygon tool. All right, let's get rid of the grid and I'm going to use the select shapes tool. And I just realized I didn't tell you exactly what I did when I used both the rectangle and the uh, ellipse tool. I click and hold my mouse and then when I'm done, I release it. Um, whereas with the polygon, I am clicking and releasing for every point that I am drawing. So yeah, that's, that's how I did that. Okay. So there's one last thing I want to show you, and I'm going to start with this oval here. Oval. That's not an oval. That's a diamond. I'm going to start with this diamond here. If I want a shape that has some organic and some geometric parts to it, remember geometric, the shapes I have right here are fairly geometric. Organic is one that's like more curvy and what's found in nature. Um, I'm going to use that editing shapes tool that we used before when we were editing some curves. So I'm going to click on that, um, select the shape I want to work with, and then I can now I can move the individual nodes on the shape. So I can make this like this and I can make curves by, um, well, when I click on this line, I choose both of those nodes and I'm using both of the handles at once. So I'm going to try to make kind of a heart shape. Let's see if I click off of it, then I can select click off so I can select just that you will know um, which nodes are selected because they will be blue. See, both of these are highlighted blue. All right. And then maybe I just want to shift that node. And so I grab on this handle. Oh, I forgot I had this selected too. Let's undo. Love that undo button. All right, and go down. All right. Little. And that's kind of a heart. It's not the best heart. I could probably make a slightly better one, but you know, there we go. Slightly better heart. But that's that's the, those tools. That's the uh, rectangle tool, the ellipse tool, and the polygon tool, and then using the edit shapes tool to edit. Um, hmm. That's interesting. When you use it to edit a circle, you get two nodes. That kind of makes sense. All right, so now it is your turn to go out and play with those tools, see what you can make. Hey, go make some art.